Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Pokemon Delta Emerald. In the last episode, we got through the Pokemon League champion in the Hoenn region, in the Game Boy Advance side of the world. That could have been worded better. Uh, new champions, same old commentary errors. But in this episode, we're not going to worry about such trivial things. We are going to head on downstairs and see what's changed now that we've made it all the way around the world in the land of the Hoenn region. Hey, wow, we actually have both our parents here for once. Hmm? Hey, it's Jeffrey. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's the impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh yes, I have something for you. This came to you from someone named Mr. Briny. Obtain the SS ticket. Hmm, a ticket for a ferry? If I recall, there are ferry ports in Slateport and Lily Cove. I'd better get back to the Pelleberg gym. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. Uh, you call your wife Mom? Okay then, whatever floats your boat. That dad of yours! He comes home from the for the first time in a while, but all he talks about is Pokemon. Well, duh, you're in the world of Pokemon. What else is there to talk about? He should relax and stay a little longer. Is that a breaking news story? So much breaking that it broke the TV which was, turned off, which was turned off and then it turned on. We bring you this emergency news flash. In various Hoenn locations, or locales, there have been reports of a bzzzed colored Pokemon in flight. The identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown. We now return to you for your regular movie program. Jeffrey, did you catch that? What color did the announcer say that Pokemon was? This is where you get to decide on a certain thing. You could decide what legendary Pokemon you will be able to obtain, depending on what color you say. Okay, sorry about that, just making absolutely sure this is the one I want to say that I want. You're going to want to say, well, I'm going to want to say, just a matter of preference, but for me, I'm going to say it was red. Well, isn't that something? There are still unknown Pokemon. And that's it. So we can just go ahead and head outside and see what else has changed for us. Hello! Well, well, Jeffrey, that good that was good work out there. I knew there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. Oh yes, do you still have that Pokédex I gave you? I have something to show you. Let's go to my lab. Hmm, now. Jeffrey and May, I've had the two of you help me study Pokémon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming to light. It appears that in the Hoenn region, there are also Pokémon from other regions. It goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary for me to upgrade your Pokédex to the national mode. Here, let me see your Pokédex units. <laughs> it's so cool that even my Pokédex is getting updated. It's because you went out and caught so many Pokémon, Jeffrey. What, you mean you didn't? Okay, all done. Jeffrey's Pokédex was upgraded to the national mode. But listen, you've become the champion. But your Pokemon journey isn't over. There is no end to the road that is Pokemon. Somewhere, there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Speaking of a grassy patch, if you go ahead and open up your copy of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire after clearing the Elite Four, you get a call from Scott. Hi, hi, Jeffrey, it's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS title now. It feels great to be on the sea. By the way, there's this place that I'd like to invite you to for a visit. If you're interested, board a ferry at either Slateport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in on the details when we meet. I'll be waiting. Click. That's another reason why this game is better than Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, because Scott isn't in Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby. But no, not really, whatever. We're gonna go ahead and look for that mysterious red or blue Pokemon that we saw on TV just now. Though, we can only get one of them if you don't have access to a Nintendo event, which is no longer available because this isn't the old-timey times of yesteryear. So, let me just cut away for a minute and get prepared for that catching event. Okay, now to catch this Pokemon, I would recommend you have a Pokemon that's in its uh, mid-20s and level 30s. Don't make it more than level 40 because you won't be able to find this Pokemon otherwise. I also recommend going north of Slateport because it's just near this little house area that lets you uh, exit the route and re-enter it. So if the Pokemon doesn't appear here, you will be able to find it again. The way you find this Pokemon, it is just in a random patch of grass in the wild at random. There's no telling of whether or not it's actually going to be here. So you basically just have to keep on running to wild Pokemon for the rest of your life until you find it. So I recommend having a route with a bunch of low level Pokemon and have a slightly higher level Pokemon like Girafferig right now and have a max repel up so you won't run into any of the weaklings. 
but if the Pokemon we're looking for is here, it will appear because it is stronger than Giraffe Rig. But if you're walking around the grass for a while and you're not finding it, I just recommend going to that house and coming back out and then you'll once again have a chance of resetting it. The reason I don't recommend you going in and out of the route is because I think it changes location twice if you do that, so going in and out of the door right there, it makes it so it'll only change once. And here it is! Okay, that was fairly quickly. And the Pokemon we're looking for, here it is! This is the legendary Pokemon Latios! This Pokemon is only going to be available if you answered blue to your mother's question. I went ahead and reset the game real quick so I could show this off to you. I unfortunately do not have the ability to catch both of them, have them both on the same save file without a certain Nintendo peripheral role, which I don't have access to. We'll get into that a bit later though. Uh, but I just wanted to show you the footage of what this Pokemon looked like and just showing us catching it. Uh, another annoying thing about this, these types of Pokemon is that they will run away from you on the first turn. So you have to throw a ball right here and now unless you have a Pokemon with like Arena Trap or a Shadow Tag or something like that. Or like a super quick Pokemon that can use Mean Look on the first turn. You're gonna have to make this thing uh, caught on the first try. So if you have your Master Ball with you, this is the point where I recommend you catch it. You use it. So we're going to go ahead and do that, not that it actually matters because I'm going to be resetting to the other Pokemon after this anyway. One, a two, a three, oh my golly gee willikers, I can't believe I caught it. But yes, we caught Latios, one of the legendary Pokemon of Generation 3. Latios, the Eon Pokemon. Even in hiding, it can detect the locations of others and sense their emotions since it has telepathy. Its intelligence allows it to understand human languages. But Latios is not the one we are looking for. We are looking for the Pokemon that appears here if you answer the color red to your mother's question. So, gonna whip out another Super Repel. And we're gonna go square dancing. Get it? Cause we're dancing in a square? As if I needed to explain that? Just give me a minute. <laughs> Stinking 12 minutes later and I finally find it, this is Latios, the counterpart to Latios, and one of only, I think Latios and Latios are the only legendary Pokemon in existence that actually do have genders. Uh, Latios is always going to be male and Latios is female. I personally like Latios a lot more than uh, Latios, just because of its role in the movie, and I like its design a lot more. The fifth Pokemon movie, Pokemon Heroes, it is a really stinking good one. It was the last movie to feature Misty and Brock, and um, that's not the only reason why I like it. I just think it has a really cool story, cool villains, and setting and everything like that. It's a really cool Pokemon. I'm somewhat tempted to try using a Pokeball, but like, I don't know why this one took so long. Like, Latios had showed up and just one reset of the area and then I was I was good to go but this one it took like 12 second minutes so like I'm kind of hesitant to use a pokeball just because I don't want to start searching for this thing again because it will teleport as soon as uh, it breaks out what the heck let's do it <laughs> go pokeball and I think so and it ran away so now I gotta look for it all over again! Uh, I guess a it's a little bit of a good thing that it did, uh, show up when it did, because I was actually- I had the battle scenes turned off, because I was doing some off-screen training, we'll get into that in a little bit, but, um, when doing off-screen training, uh, something that a lot of people tend to not think to do is to turn the battle animations off. It saves so much time you wouldn't really think of it, especially in, uh, Generation 2, because Surf Sync and Animation in 2 is so incredibly long, it makes me not want to use the move just because it takes so long to get through. I remember like in, um, when I was LP and Crystal, I was just like, oh, why is it taking forever? You know what would be really crummy is if the Pokemon ran away and I was not aware that uh, it running away means it disappears from the game forever. I have to catch it on that first attempt or else it's gone for good. That would be really stinking crummy. I don't think that's the case, but it would be unfortunate if it was. In which case, I could just hashtag reset, but whatever. Wait, I just realized, isn't this where the trumpet meme came from? Get in the door. Dork. 
I suddenly regret all my memes. It was not worth it to try and use a Pokeball of Latias. I really regret it now, but whatever. I guess it's all in the past, and oh my god, that was really cool looking. I didn't think I could do that. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we got Latios back again. Not gonna do anything dumb this time. We're just gonna go ahead and stink and catch it. Let's go, Giraffe Rig. Go ahead and use our Master Ball. This is the second time I'm using a Master Ball in a Pokemon LP. This one I don't feel too bad about because Roaming Legendaries are the stinking worst. They get a bit easier to find in later games, but in this game you just have to find it by pure luck and it's really stinking annoying, especially since it runs away after every stinking turn. If it didn't run away every turn, then I wouldn't use it, but the fact that it does, it just makes it stinking annoying. So I don't feel bad about using this Master Ball. I do still feel kind of bad that I used my Master Ball on Lugia back in my Crystal LP, just because I was like sort of exhausted. I was just like, I want this LP to end. It's the last thing in Legendary I need to catch. Let's go ahead and do it. And I felt kind of bad about it. Maybe I'll make up for it one day. Latias, the Eon Pokémon. They make a small herd of only several members. They rarely make contact with people or other Pokémon. They disappear if they sense enemies. But with that, Latias is captured. Now there is a technically a way that you could have both Latias and Latios. It requires something known as the Eon Ticket. The Eon Ticket is this special item that was only available through a uh, uh, special events that you had to go to in person to unlock it uh, via like a Toys R Us and have it downloaded into your game and it also required a Nintendo e-reader card which is a very obscure Nintendo peripheral that is even more um, unknown and available to people than the Game Boy Advance Link Cable. So I unfortunately don't have access to this and there was a remake version of the Eon Ticket that was available in uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire and I also don't have access to that one either. For whatever reason, Nintendo just likes making the Eon Ticket insanely difficult to get. They made this event available for like a week, and that was it. I think you could still get the Eon Ticket today. The only way you're allowed to get it today is if you street pass with someone who has it on their Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire save file, but I don't know anyone who does, or at least not anyone local. Maybe in the future I'll have another update video for this LP if I could like uh, find someone who wants to mail their 3DS to me. It was something I was considering doing, but I don't know if it's really worth the trouble. Maybe that'll be changed when I, uh, when this gets released, because I'm not sure when this is getting released, so maybe I'll have some time to think it over. But who knows. For now, we are done here in Emerald for the time being. Let's go ahead and switch back over to Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, even though it's just Alpha Sapphire. I don't know why I always need to include Omega Ruby, it's not that special.